the main issue which could change the fate of lung cancer is early diagnosis. Early diagnosis by use of low-dose CT scan, the so-called CT scan screening. The only country in which lung cancer screening is done routinely, but on a voluntary basis, is in the US. For the moment in Europe there is no country in which CT scan screening is currently done on a systematic basis. There are a number of countries like the UK and France. We have just finished and presented the data of the Dutch-Belgian trial, the Nelson trial. Finding lung cancer early is completely decisive. If you find a very small nodule, we call that stage 1A, the five-year survival is between 50 and 60 percent. As soon as it gets bigger or spreads just locally, the five-year survival drops to less than 20 percent. We don't want to scan everybody. We want to scan those at highest risk. We look at at-risk people instead of waiting until they turn up. As doctors, we're used to having our patients coming to the hospital for an examination, but in screening, we're not dealing with patients. We're dealing with participants who are not ill, who, then, who don't have a disease. So most of the CTs are located in hospitals, but there is some evidence um, also in, mainly in Europe, in the United Kingdom, where they bring the CT to the participants, where they bring the CT to parking lots um, of shopping malls, and bringing your equipment to the targeted population, the hard to reach, um, with very good success. In Manchester, we put the CT scanner in a lorry and we drove out to the parking lots of the supermarkets where these people usually do their shopping. So they didn't have to go to some strange hospitals, which is a hurdle. We came to them. Coming from a patient perspective, there is that fear, particularly if there's someone who have had a smoking history, they would know that they're more at risk of developing the disease, and sometimes ignorance is bliss. Also, for a lot of patients, they experience a lot of stigma around the disease, and that stigma can really impact and influence when they might go to see a doctor or engage with anyone in the healthcare system. The Nelson trial showed that there is a decrease in mortality of lung cancer with about 26% in male smokers and ex-smokers and 40% in female smokers and ex-smokers. The data on uh, cost and cost effectiveness are not yet mature. Eh? So what we only can say is that compared to other medical interventions and certainly compared to immunotherapy, lung cancer screening will be more cost effective. As a radiologist, we're always concerned about radiation. Um, but for screening, we're using low-dose CT, which is a radiation that is less than those in clinical practice. So it is important, but we should not overestimate it. New technologies are important for the radiation dose, but are also important for detection of pulmonary nodules, because that's what we're looking for, early lung cancer manifesting as pulmonary nodules. In a country like the Netherlands, with 18 million people, in total, and maybe a lung cancer screen program can reduce something like 1,400 deaths per year. And that's actually more effective than breast cancer screening. We can introduce smoking cessation combined with the screening, something that at the moment still isn't working so well. So combine it with CT scan it can be quite good. It is time to come up with recommendations at European level by member states to do the next step. It's important that, uh, for instance, the European Union uh, or the European Parliament decides on that and, and advocates screening in order to exhort the, the, the national uh, societies and the national authorities to participate in lung cancer screening. That was the, the way it was done for colon cancer screening and this will also be the way forward for lung cancer screening.
the European Parliament should make the framework and then bring it to the member states, open the discussion, discuss it with the member states and follow it. See that every member state is doing it and make it applicable. That's um, what we as European Union have to do and to try to, to have the dialogue. Dialogue is very important in these cases with everyone, with the patients, patients, doctors, um, academics, everybody has to be involved. I think patients have a, a huge part to play in the implementation of lung cancer screening in their own country and across the EU. That there has to be a patient sitting there at the table. It's really, really important to have that patient voice at the very beginning. I think as well as a community, we have a necessity to help to advocate and we also have a responsibility to educate and empower patients and caregivers because without that, who's going to be the voice to advocate for policy changes and implementing lung cancer screening? I was once a cancer patient myself and I really support that the European Union should do something for the patients and also for the healthcare givers.